Crossbow Tuning Tip is brought to you by Starflight. Are you tired of the hassle and the smell of flecking your own arrows? Well, throw that fleshing jig in the garbage and get a Starflight fob. It's as easy as one, two, three. Get yours today at Starflight.com. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Bow Tuning Tip. This week I'm going to talk to you about how to tie a D-loop. It's really simple. I think everybody out there who bow hunts that uses a D-loop needs to know how to tie one. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to tie the D-loop. I'm not going to show you how to tune your arrow rest and get everything set back level. I'm just going to show you how to replace the D-loop. Before you take your D-loop off, you need to be sure that you take note to where your arrow level's at, either eighth inch high or however you may have it set, so you can tie your new D-loop on and get everything set back into place. Okay, we're going to take about a four inch piece of standard D-loop material. We're going to fray one end. And on that end where we fray, we're going to burn that to where all of those fibers melt together and they make a little ball. This is going to be the stop that keeps the D-loop from sliding back through. We've got the little stop burned. What I'm going to do is I take a little bit of string wax. This is the standard bow string wax that you use to wax your string. And I'm going to rub that on there, kind of give it a little coating onto this D-loop. This is going to let the knot tighten down and not slip. It's going to give you a really good cinch knot. All right, now we're going to put this back on right where our old one was at. And you're going to start out by wrapping it around the string. You need to take the burnt end of your D-loop material. Then you're going to go around your bowstring, underneath of the long end of the D-loop material, around the bowstring again the same way you came the first time and then stick it right through the hole on top like this and then pull this tight and that's going to be the first top knot for the D-loop. Okay to do the second knot you're going to do it exactly the same way except for this time you're going to come in over the top of your D-loop material and you have to go right through the D part where you hook your release. You're going to go right through there. You're going to go down, go around the bowstring again and through the same hole right here on the bottom. Now this end has not been burned off yet but as you can see it's already frayed. It's frayed pretty good. So now I'm just going to burn that little knob on the end Okay, I burned the little knob on the end. I'm going to slide that down and you can see that where the loop's going to be at. You want to stick something in there. I usually use an Allen wrench or this is a little clamp that I have. You just pull it out like that. Kind of get it snugged up. And there you go. The knots are staggered. This is the way most people shoot it. Well, there you go. That's how to tie a D-loop. I hope you learned something on that one. Thanks for watching this week's Bow Tuning Tip, and I'll see you next week. Until then, stay tuned. Be sure to visit BowTuningTips.com for all your latest archery tuning tips, taxidermy tips, and there's even an online store with hundreds of items to make you a better archer.